Yeah. My people, now they see this water, very dirty water. If on a local stream, the local surrounding of Abuja area, where you call uh, Mapapi district. Around here, you can see far away, you see birds, very colorful birds. I see some of the head is black, dominant color yellow, I see olive green. But I see some other ones with uh, greener shades and uh, gray color. But what I observe now, if you look around clearly, you can see some sheet. Poo-poo, some people call it, or should I say excreta. But it might interest you to know what a man eats is what is going to pass out. What is not needed by your body is taken out. What we eat is not really what we need. We eat more than what we need. So what I observe from that in the element of nature, you cannot eliminate waste. Waste itself is part of life. But as we pass out the excreta, if not a sheet for bush like me, because I be bushman, when I stay inside bush, as I kneel down, I open my nyash, I go throw away the sheet, and I observe. As I they sheet them so, flies just appear. I don't know who they tell them. Whether they be juju or they be witch or wizard or no sabi. And they just perch on top of the sheet. You go see say maggot go appear. Those are agents of discomp decomposition. I've been no be so the teachers for biology for school. But because I don't know bukuru and no sabi. But even the water itself. In Asabi say no water they travel in a straight course. How can water travel in a straight course? It must meander. Not be like nine meandering, but real life experience. You get what I'm saying? It go meander because water must find its level and it's going to run from the lowest course. That the mountains are high, like we can see them far away. If they are the source of origin of most rivers, do they mean they retain more water than the valleys, the lowest of valley? All the waters must return back to the ocean in time and space. That is the way it is. They must find a way to express who they are. So, as I take a move forward, what we are saying essentially, we ourselves, each person, every person, being your own universe. What do I mean by this? In your interplanetary self body, you have duality of personality. There are two kinds of person within you. They call one the conscious, that's your conscious man, then the subconscious, which controls the conscious. But the subconscious is supposed to be, now be the mummy water of the conscious man. <laughs> when we hear mummy water, our Christian folks and holy folks don't want to hear that name. Because they are so myopic and demonize our ancestral belief. Mummy water to them, they say it is fetish. Now, Juju, it be. But the question is this. What did they know? You don't know what you don't know. Because it has been revealed to us. Mame water in the real essence of it is a, a mentor. An unknown, un unexplainable living mystery that gets inspiration not from what is seen, but from what is not seen. That means your ability to draw from divinity or from invisible into visible. That is the highest realm of creativity, which controls the known realm. So what it implies is that uh, you control everything you see visible from the invisible realm. So implication means that... Uh, when you are asleep, which means... Part of your life, there's a certain part. There's no man who does not rest in every day between the 24-hour circle, you must uh, shut down. 
Shutting down, the essence of shutdown is to recover and recoup and reorganize yourself. But things are clearer and things form into space and all the circles are dotted and all the eyes are crossed while in sleep. Which means we even see more clearly our dominant thoughts. So our thought is what the woman in us, which we call the Mame Water, reflects back to us. What it does is simple. Because you are the one generating those thinking, what is only doing is like our own physical woman will give you a child. Have you forgotten you are the one who dropped the seed, which is the sperm? That takes us to another level of reasoning. That the sperm itself is not from water. The sperm is the highest virtue of the blood. It has a connection with what comes from your, within yourself, like the finest of you, which is like a mold of yourself. Itself is a little universe of yourself. But are you not aware that each time you eject sperm into a woman, you will have ejected over 2 million sperm seeds, of which even then there's a battle. And the battle is that there will be a fight. Struggle for survival within. So that uh, what happens is that uh, the struggle for survival of the sperm, so anyone that succeeds to live is the one that will become a child. If it's uh, two that break the egg, you have twins. If it's three, you have triplets or quadruplets as the case may be. But within all that, you aren't the one who is forming all those things. Those are we call the ministry of the universe. So, do I need to explain everything? I cannot explain what I can't explain. And what I don't know, I don't know. 